This video is for Biology 2402 and P2. We're looking at structures of the respiratory tract. We're going to begin in the larynx. So here in the larynx, we can see the hyoid bone. There. There's this big cartilage right there is the thyroid cartilage. When we look at that on the model, we're looking at here. So there's your hyoid bone. This big flat cartilage is the thyroid cartilage. Thyroid cartilage. Inferior to that is the cricoid cartilage. Cricoid means ring. It makes a ring all the way around. It's the only one of the cartilages there that does make a complete circle. So there we see that cricoid cartilage here. I'll take the larynx off. We can see on the back it goes all the way around underneath that muscle. Then we have the trachea. We're going to go ahead and remove some ribs in the sternum. It's the nice thing about this is if you accidentally take something out, you can hit undo. All right, so again, here's our trachea. And you can see the trachea branches into right and left primary bronchi. Those primary bronchi then branch off into secondary bronchi, which go out to each of the lobes of the lung. Now remember the left lung only has two lobes. The right lung has three. So you see two secondary bronchi on the left and three secondary bronchi there on the right. Now, each of the lungs has lobes. Unfortunately, our cadaver died of severe lymphoma, which had metastasized to his lungs. So these lungs are severely malformed. The concavity here is because of the cancerous tissue that took up that space, and I've already removed that. So we're going to look at the lungs on the model. On the model, we see our right lung and left lung. So the right lung, again, bigger than the left lung. The right lung has three lobes, superior, middle, and inferior lobes. There are two fissures, a horizontal fissure and an oblique fissure on the right lung. On the left lung, we've only got two lobes, superior and inferior, and one fissure the oblique fissure. Of course, on the bottom of the lungs, the muscle of breathing, the diaphragm, directly inferior to the lungs. We come back up here, we can look at the larynx again. We'll go ahead and split this thing in half. Cross section here. So this closes the glottis here. This is the epiglottis, that cartilage there. On the back, this cartilage, a little triangle-shaped cartilage right there, is the arytenoid cartilage. And then this is the vocal fold. So, epiglottis, arytenoid cartilage is just under that muscle. Vocal fold. 